first, thanks, thanks for doing this. I really appreciate this. this is like, uh, I'm looking forward to uh, doing a bit more of these over the season. Um, so uh, we'll get right into uh, just a couple of the questions first about uh, not about right now, but what's uh, what's going on for you this year. I'm um, just wondering how uh, how's the adjustment to coaching been for you uh, from being you know team captain and and, and you know and team favorite and whatnot and now into the coaching role. Yeah, I mean it's a little bit new, obviously, it's a new role, but uh, I'm enjoying it so far. And it's it's kind of a similar role, being a captain and assistant coach. It's mm -hmm. not uh, not far far from it. So you know I'm still trying to kind of teach the guys as I would if I was playing. Yeah. Uh, you know it's, they're not pushing me to become anything great right away. They're giving me a chance and they're teaching. So it's a, it's a good position to be. Nice. And so what, what is your role? How is it split up between uh, working with the kids and working with the first team? So or? right now, I've, I've really just been working with the residency team uh, most of the week and uh, get, just getting used to them and working with that group. And it's been, it's been a good good fit for me right now. And, um, you know, young kids, impressionable, and uh, you know, trying to teach them things about the game. And, and, um, so far, I've enjoyed it. I think it takes a lot of what I'm saying on board. It's, uh, it's a good relationship, and it's, it's a good start for me. Nice. And uh, so who stands out for you? Like, I mean, other than the game today, but in general, who, out of the kids, uh, the current crop, who who uh, stands out for you? Um, I mean, there's a lot of good players. I, I think, uh, you know, it's hard to single anyone out. There's uh, a lot of talented players, but I, I think there's still a lot of inconsistency there because they're young. And uh, it's trying to get them into a place where they're consistent and uh, doing a good job. I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, it's like any group, they're going to be talented, and some of the most talented ones might not find their way uh, way through, and, and some of the less talented ones who, have the, who kind of have the right mindset or can fill a role might get through, so it's, it's just trying to uh, you know, nurture their talent as best you can and uh, push them in the right direction. All right. Um, so looking at uh, this year for the club, um, any predictions for the season? What's a, what's a satisfactory result for the club this year? Um, I, I think getting into the playoffs is satisfactory. satisfactory result. The club's been in uh, been going for a long time now. And, you know, yeah, it is a new team, it is a new league, a new level, but um, there's a good foundation. I think uh, the, the club's uh, got to any length they can to get the players they need to get to make a successful season. They don't want to wait two or three years to be successful. Uh, they want to be successful right away. And I think uh, making the playoffs is a success. Um, and it's something that we can take the staff is a really good job. Nice. Um, so, so to get there, where are the goals going to come from? I know it's something we struggled with last year, uh, and certainly in the preseason. Now we have uh, Eric Hasley coming in on, as the DP. Um, I don't know if anyone thinks he's going to be the entire solution for our goals, but where, where, are, the, where are those goals going to come from? Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of talented players. I, I think uh, you're going to have to get scoring from a lot of different areas. I think you can't just rely on one person, because I think then you become a pretty predictable team, and guys, a team can shut you down. But, uh, I mean, he'll come in and help. He's a big body, and uh, suits the system and style of play. Uh, but we still need uh, midfielders getting in the box and supporting, and uh, you no know, wide players that can pitch in. And, you know, you obviously get some free kicks from defenders, so you know it's got to be spread around a bit. And I think if it's that way, there's more chance that uh, we'll, we'll be able to score. Nice. Um, and uh, any thoughts on the game yesterday? Did you, did you get, were you done here? No, I was down. I was oh. just going to watch the game today. Okay. Um, so I didn't have a chance yesterday. Um, now, what do you think the Cascadia rivalry is going to do for soccer in Vancouver or for the league? Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I mean, it's been going on for uh, three, four years now um, uh, with the Cascadia Cup. They've been, they've been holding uh, between the three clubs. Uh, and I think it just goes to a higher level now. Um, the MLS and the bigger fan bases that the clubs will have. And, uh, people more more into the games and following the teams more. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what it, it does bring, but I think it'll be some great derby matches and, uh, and it'll be, uh, be great to watch. Nice. Who would you rather beat? Um, I think uh, it's it's been a better rivalry recently with Portland. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, because they have they have a big crowd. Uh, they've, they've, they've been bringing supporters to Vancouver for a few years, and uh, with not really having Seattle uh, playing Seattle regularly in the last uh, couple of years, um, I think right now Portland. But um, you know they're both good clubs, and it's going to be a great rivalry. And I'm looking looking forward to uh, seeing those teams hopefully be both. Nice. Um, uh, okay, so last question. We'll get through this quick. Uh, what's your dream job in soccer? Um, yeah. you want, do you want to coach the Caps? Do you want to coach um, I think it would be, it'd be great to coach the Caps one day. Um, as far as dream job, I'm not sure yet. I'm still kind of feeling it. I'll see if mm -hmm. I uh, you know, will make a good coach one day. Um, not in a hurry to do so. Um, and I've got a lot to learn and, uh, and a 
a lot of good people around it, which is great. But you know, I, you never know. Maybe maybe my best attributes might be in the office side of it, or you know, I just want to stay in the game and stay with the club. I, I feel like I help build on the pitch now, or want to help build it off the pitch, you know, and make it uh, to the best level for forever. Nice. I like to, I like to hear that. I think the fans would love to hear that. Um, uh, and so, so last question. What uh, prediction for today? What are we gonna do? Um, you know, I, I think you know, it's gonna come down to obviously it's just going goal. So hopefully, uh, you know, the, the, the guys will show up. I know they've been creating a lot of chances. It's nice to see them get some confidence uh, in uh, the last two games here leading up before the season starts. So, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll be a, a two 0 or two goal, two one win for the Vikings. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much for uh, for joining me here. No problem. Definitely. All right, cheers.